Greetings from North Carolina. I would like to share with you my banana plant. So it's unfurling. It's uh, another big leaf here. I don't know if this is just an ornamental banana plant or it will give me fruits in the future. So I repotted it into a bigger pot. I would like also to share with you my poncetia some of you might uh, know but uh, I thought this um, plant was dead so I just it was inside so I took it out here and uh, watered it and let the rain soak it and now it's uh, putting more foliage there this is my calamondine plant which is uh, flourishing too this is late this is a late bloomer um, it usually start to bloom later in the summer and fruits uh, usually comes out by fall this is my lemon which I think is my ponderosa uh, hopefully the bar the branches will be strong enough to support all the fruits last year only one was left and as it grew um, it fell on the ground probably the branch was not strong enough to hold it and then here's another calamansi plant um, as you could see that's the old foliage i think it's mineral deficiency because the new leaves are better looking looking better so that's uh, the pepper which a friend gave me this is the second spring um, and as you could see there are flowers it's ornamental but um, it's also edible and it has the spicy um, fruits that's the Opuntia that's my olive plant which hasn't like waking up waiting for it it's still alive I scratched the bark and it's still green that's my Siba Speciosa I'm excited with this so the bone box because this is the one that's giving me that burgundy uh, flower uh, I mean uh, le leaves um, it's this is the one with the pink flowers but it hasn't flowered for me that's my moringa or the malungai which has waken up that's my uh, Mexican frankincense or the Brucera fag fagaroids my Pachypodium succulentum and some other plants here these are my alocasia so thank you guys for watching may you like and subscribe um, and God bless you all bye